Come in. Ah, oh, good morning. Do come in. Have a seat. So, what seems to be the trouble? It's my leg. Um, it's really painful. Just there. Mm, right. Does that hurt? That's your leg. Yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? Much nicer than yours. Could you leave me alone now, please? I'll spread your glutes. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, I've done all these muscles under my arm, so lifting a crate awkwardly. Mm -hmm. um, it was all right till this morning, but I can't move this shoulder at all now. Right, and it's just around there, is it? Yeah. I see. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this over the phone. All right. Just wait here while I go next door. I'll ring through and you answer the phone. Okay? Mm, all right. Right. I'll speak to you in a moment. Good, Paul. Now, tell me again exactly where the pain is. Could you hang on a moment? Look, um, can you keep your voice down? I can hear you through the door. There's no point in me doing the same with the phone if I can hear you through the door, is there? No. Just speak a little bit more quietly. Now, when did this start? I'm sorry, this isn't a very good line. Um, could you ring me back? Yeah, it's 3.02. Thanks. Hello, Barn Green Health Centre. Uh, sorry, who is this? Paul Coffey? Well, I can't see you now. I'm with a patient. Look, is this an emergency? Come in on Thursday morning, then. Hello? Doctor. Uh, hang on a minute, I'm on the phone. Well, I just wondered if Could you just wait through there? I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Now, hello? Ah, oh, there you are. Um, 10 o'clock on Thursday, all right? Okay, I'll see you then. And can you go through reception next time? I'm not the secretary. Right, bye. Right, so, what's the story? Well, I've got to come back Thursday. I'll see you then. Right. Uh, Doctor, is there no uh, way... Ten o'clock? 
Right. Yes? Come in. Ah, oh, morning. Morning. Have a seat and sit down. Thank you. Now, what seems to be the problem? Well, I've had this headache for about two weeks now. I'm pretty constant. Mm -hmm. um, but sinuses are blocked. And it also goes around the back. Right. Um, and I feel dizzy quite a lot. How are your ears? Um, they're okay. All right. And how big is your wagon? Oh, sorry. I'll need to have a look at your old chap. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Get it up. Let's have a look. Is it something to do with it? Oh, yes. Well, that's not bad. Do you mind if I just... Uh... Yes, good weight. Um... Yes. Good density. Is this some? Um... Yes. And um, could you swing it about a bit? What? Swing your hips. Um, make it slap against your thighs. Yes. Good. Good solid mass. Uh, double the speed. Sure, that this is about my look. The doctor. It's nice, but it's not the same. Kind of more slinky. Do, do, um, could I stop now, please? Oh, no, keep going. Uh, this is uh, quite important. Um, you understand what I'm doing here? No. I'm piecing together a holistic puzzle. Oh. Right, just keep that going. Ah, Sarah, could you ask Dr. Basingstoke to pop through? Thanks. Can I stop now? Um, no, no, keep going. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, jump up and down. Wow, yes, that is powerful. Do that too much and it'll swing right up your ass. I can get mine to swing up my ass. Look. Look at us. Keep going. Michael. Synchronised cocks. Michael, stop this. Look, they almost have the same lob rate. Michael. A harmony of knobs. Michael! Ow! Now stop it. Really? Yes. But it's great. No, it's not great. I'm sorry about this. You think it's better? It's not necessary. Yes. Sort of. You too, please, Michael. Pants first. Bloody hell. Right, um, it's Nick, isn't it? Foster. Just pop through to the waiting room and we'll fix you up another appointment, OK? Right. Michael, this has got to stop. Has it? Yes. It really has. Yeah. You're right. If you want to talk about it, I've always got time. Yeah. Thanks. See you later. Yep. Alison. Yeah. I've probably got three more goes at this before I get reported, haven't I? No! Please. No. Please. Two. Thanks. Sit down in the chair opposite my chair. Thanks. Todd Chade? 
Matthew Vocker's beige. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, quite sore under this arm, just here. Right, well, under your shirt, let's have a look. Hello? Yes, I'm getting hard. They're very big and hard in my shorts. Ah, I've come on my knee. All right, bye. Um. Sorry about that, but there's quite a good reason for it. Now, let's have a look at you. Just lift your arm up. Yes, glands up there, really quite swollen. Do you have any other symptoms? No, oh, excuse me. Hello? Yes, I'm gliding my fist over the bulging purple head and sticking my finger up my ass. And my cock's gone off like a spunky firework. Okay, bye-bye. Doctor, I, I really don't um, know. I'm sorry about that. Um, I really don't have much choice. What do you mean? Well, we're rather short of cash at the health centre, and we found this is actually quite an efficient way of raising practice funds. Oh. We'd better have a proper look at you. Strip down to your pants and pop onto the couch. I'll put on the headset so that I can carry on with you. Hello? Can you hang on a sec? Yes, sir. Just lie down. Right. I'm staring down at my very hard prick. It's a fucking massive bulb. Won't be long. And I'm shooting jets of thick cum into your foaming twat. Not at all. Bye. You don't seem to have any other inflammation, but I'll get you checked for glandular fever just in case. But uh, I wouldn't worry. All right. Doctor? Yes? Is that really the only way you can raise money? Oh, there are probably others, but uh, it's the best one we've come up with so far. Well, what's the money for? Uh, at the moment, it's for a little girl with head cancer. Aren't there funds anyway for that? Well, you would have thought so, wouldn't you? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll have to get that. Um, I'll see you again when you've got the results. Bye. Hello? Yup, I've got a thick club of pulsing gristle. I'm pushing it into your soft, warm gob. You're talking dirty past the shaft. And I'm coming so hard, the spunk's flying out of your eyes. OK, bye. That was for a child with head cancer. Yes, I know. Unbelievable, isn't it? Come in. Doctor. Henry Chivers. No, I've just jumped the queue. I needed to ask you about this. prescribe my daughter half a kilo of heroin. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't see a thing. It'll probably take me a day or two to recover my eyesight. So, could you pop back on Thursday? Well, can't you? Thursday morning, and we can book you a proper appointment. All right. Good. Sarah, I've just blinded myself. Could you cancel the rest of my appointments? Thanks. Um, I'll probably need someone to lead me out to my car. Okay. So, 
Amen. Yeah. 